10,000 in today. I have a project to do. It's a very easy one. It's not going to take too long, but it's something cute. And um, yeah, so we're going to get into this right now. Everyone, um, yeah, let's bring this up a little, a little bit, maybe. Yeah, I just wanted to show off my little candle here. I want to thank Dennis and his wife. Look, I use it all the time. Just to let you know. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. The smell is gorgeous in the house. It's so good. And I can't wait to use the other one, but I'm saving it for Christmas. And uh, yeah, really love this candle. So I'm going to put this over here. And we're going to get into this project here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, let me move that, um, that I did this. And I made these balls. And... I put lights in them and that and they're hot mess oh, because my Yorkie Bruno likes to get up on the table to look and see and when I'm coming home so he, he gets on top of these and he's squashed them down so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but um, for right now I'm gonna put them in my basket that I have over here and I'm gonna take the lights out I think on these two both the lights are out on these two and uh, there's a light in this one so i'm going to take it out what we're going to use is the tray so um yeah let me get this out of here this fairy light out it's all tangled here and i'll take it out of here i really did like these except bruno has been smushing them and I'm not, not sure if I'm going to get the shape back into them or not. But I'll have to play with them and stuff them up with some more stuff. And I put, put the paper in there basically to hide the box of the fairy. So when you turned them on, you, didn't, you weren't looking at the box and stuff. So, but everything's falling apart here. <laughs> I've had them for a while. And they would have lasted a lot longer if, you know... Bruno. But that's what happens. He kind of took it out of shape there. <laughs> and they're falling apart. So I'm going to put them aside here for now. And we're going to use the tray here. Yep, there goes my Yorkie. He's going to the bedroom. He heard his name and he's done. <laughs> I might oh they still work I haven't used it too much um, turned it on or, or anything but yeah I figured I'd have to put some new batteries in it but that's cool because I want to use this for this project so we're gonna clean this tray out it's dirty so I'm gonna go wash it and um, I'll be right back Okay guys, so I got it all kind of clean, nice and clean. So that stuff that that stuff that I made those balls and got, um, I don't know, it, it kind of gives off dirt or something off of it. So anyways, that is done. Okay, so we got these two. I'm going to do these two. What we're going to do with these, we're going to put them underneath here. And we're just going to sit them there. I think I might glue them together, though, with the hot glue gun. And we're going to do it like that. Hopefully you guys can see this. I don't know if I can bring it down anymore. I'll back you up. Yeah, so um, there you go. So we're going to do it like that. And I think I'll glue them together. Hot glue them together. So I'm going to open them up because, you know, they're in plastic here. And, uh, so I'll get these open. I figured I needed two of these. I don't want to glue it to the stand because if I glue it to the stand, then I'm not going to be able to use it for anything else. And I don't want to do that. I'm just going to have it sit on it. So that way I can reuse it when I want for other things. This is for fall, so it makes the house look a little bit more folly. 
I never used to do this stuff because I was by myself and when I was by myself I just figure well why you know so now I got my mom and Shea Bear here so I kind of decorate a little bit more um, you know to make it more festive it, it is it makes it nicer I think I just never really was in the living room I spent my life in the bedroom so um, yeah so I got my hot glue gun here. I don't know if it's ready yet or not. It should be. Um, let's see. I'm going to take this off here. Oops. My ball here. And see if I can get any glue out. It. Oh yeah. Okay, it's ready. So, you just fold that so we don't use it. So I'm just going to glue these two together. And, uh, I mean, they'll be able to come apart, and I'll be able to use them again for something else if I want to, or whatever. I got these all at, this is all from Dollar Tree. So I paid $1.25 for this stuff, um, for each one, so. If you wanted to know where I, where I got it all. I usually get most of my stuff for projects at Dollar Tree. So I'm just gluing them together so they'll be together. Yeah, so like so. And then what you're going to do is just set the tray on top like so. Yes, I know you can see it, but you're not going to. Oops, I got a little bit over here. Oh, and I don't want it on the tray. And I got this tray, yeah, if I didn't tell you, I got the tray from Dollar Tree a while back. So... They do sell these. I think they still have them. They're hard to find though. You have to look. <coughs> Every Dollar Tree is different. So so that way I'm going to just set it up on that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we got flowers. I got some fall flowers here. Different kinds. And we're going to take them off the stem. And we're going to cut them. And what I'm going to do is poke them in here on the sides here so I don't really need my glue gun no more I did get it on the tree though and I didn't want to <coughs> so that's what we're going to do so we're going to take some of these off and we're going to just start you know um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this with I might be able to with scissors if not I'll get Shea Bear to get me some cutters and uh we might have to do it that way. I think I used his cutters the last time. He has little tiny cutters. Because scissors don't really work with wire. Too good. So. Oh, I got it. Not too, too bad. So what we're we going to do is just poke them in. And we're going to just poke them in like so. So, um, yeah. And make them pretty. You can go as far as you want. And, um, you know, you can do what you want. And, um, you know, I got plenty here, so I wasn't sure if I'd have enough. I wanted to make sure here. So, it's very easy. I got a bird in my bird feeder. Which is good because the squirrel finally found out where my bird feeder is over by the air conditioner. And he has been in there and I have been hitting the window and trying to get him gone. And oh, It has been no fun. So we're going to do this here like so. And I'm just going to take different colors and, uh, you know, just kind of go across here. Very simple, nothing, nothing too fancy. Oh. Now, if you, my mom's watching golf, and so if you hear her yelling and screaming, that's her in the background there. She wears in the other room watching TV at the moment, and uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna just kind of just do a variety and do what I want to do. And what you're going to do, you're going to do enough across here and make them, you know, I'm going to move the tray here for the moment. 
and um, get a couple of these and a couple of that and and just make it really kind of pretty and festive and uh, oops oops what the heck oh my goodness yeah I got it on my mat here that's okay it's not brand new or anything I'm not worried about it so what you're gonna do is just kind of poke them in and just put them where you want on the sides here you kind of want them up though you know but you're really you're going to do is hide this so you want to go as cross enough where you're going to hide it all and I hope I have enough here because I'm going to have to do both sides here so um, yeah I was debating on how many to get because um, I really wasn't sure how much it was going to take so you could cut this down a little bit if you wanted to to um, you know to make it a little easier for you if you wanted to um, it's not all up to you I mean I just want to give you the idea and then you make it your own and do what you want to do with it so <laughs> I got glue all over this I'm gonna have to wash it now it should come out. I don't think it'll ruin it. I have to, I have bought six of these, so and I got them used. I I got them at the thrift store, in fact. Yeah, so I'm gonna use one of these. These are really pretty. I kind of like those. And um, yeah, I'll use use one of these over there. Kind of. And you can make them as long as you want. You, you know, it's up to you. I'm you know, just cutting it in and off, and then I can kind of twirl it to get it off that wire. There we go. Cutters would probably help a lot. <laughs> probably. But, oh well. Okay, so I'm just going to put my flower over here for now. And, you know, I want to show you what it's going to look like, kind of. And we can put them in deeper if you want. You know, I mean, the whole idea is to have your tray sitting on the top. And, uh, yeah, you might want to put them down more so then you can see your tray better. Um, yeah, well, we'll do that and see. And it'll cover... It'll cover the sides up more, so then, um, yeah, so you don't have to put so many. And you just do it like that. And what you're going to do is do it all the way around. And uh, until, until you get it all. The, and, um, and you just don't want to show the green. That's what the whole thing is. You just don't want to show the green. So we're going to put some more of these on there. And... Uh, yeah so I mean you you do you and do it the way you want um, you know but, uh, it's going to be for the coffee table and I am going to put it on the coffee table and uh, yeah, it'll be cute because you know I did my lights above here and um, I have lights Outside, I kind of did the, the the window over there, and I did um, around the fireplace. I put leaves and stuff. I don't really um, decorate for Halloween. I probably should have this year. There's a lot of kids on my road this year that hasn't been there um, at all. So um, I don't know if I'll get kids this year or not, but I will make sure I have some candy. And now that the house across the road, they have kids, and um, she's decorated for Halloween a little bit. Not a whole lot, but she's put some stuff out. And uh, so, you know, you never know, you know, that what's your neighborhood's going to do. At time, every year's a little different. I have a lot of people that come in and out, out on this road, so 
And right now, I think every house has been resold on this road since I've been here, except me, my next door neighbor, the one next door neighbor beside me. She's in her 70s with her husband, and uh, she used to be a nurse. And um, uh, I think that's it. I think everybody else, oh, there's a lady down on the corner, way down on the first corner there by the gas station, and she, I think, is still living there. She's an elderly lady. And there's one more. There's one more up by the park more. It's, uh, they're older too. I noticed they were very old looking. They've probably been here for, for a long time. Everybody else? Yeah. They're all, all moved in and out and rechanged and sold and so, yeah. And I intend to stay here. The only way I would get leave is if I get enough money where I could live on the um, river or the lake, which would cost a fortune. So, and some people say, you know, it's it has its goods and its bads living on, on water, you know. My parents lived on water. <laughs> Well, we lived on the ocean, and that was really nice. I do miss it. I miss it a lot. Um, it was, I used to walk that beach in Daytona every day and never felt afraid. There was times I'd wake up at, you know, in the middle of the night and get up and go walking when I was a teenager. <laughs> My parents didn't even know. So, or i go swimming in our pool that we had at the motel, so... I was quite a swimmer. I was on the swim team in school, in high school, so I was always practicing and in the water and stuff, so, um, yeah. So I do miss it, and then they moved to a place called Okwaha, and they lived on a private lake there. I'm trying to cut these. And, um, it was pretty, um, when I got a divorce, I moved in with my parents, and we had lots of fun. My kids and I, they, my dad had a little boat. It was really fun, and my son would fish, and he'd come home from school and go fishing, and, uh, you know, we used to swim in that water. I wouldn't swim in it now because there's big alligators in there. Because we had neighbors that were really kind of not too bright. I was going to the... I was going walking down the road and I seen a baby alligator at the mailbox. So the neighbor came out because he wanted to see what I was looking at and I wasn't that close to it. I was kind of skittish. You know, I was like, ah, I better not walk this way. And he came out and he took it and threw it in our the private lake. So I was like, oh no. But I'm sure there's they're still there. I just didn't ever see them. You know, I never felt afraid being in that lake, swimming in it or anything. And what, once I seen that sucker, I knew it was going to grow. And I was like, I don't think so. No more swimming in that lake for me. And, you know, but my kids, they, they had a friend and they had a trampoline. They drug the trampoline out into the water and they used to jump off the trampoline into the water. So my kids had lots of fun there. And, um, you know, we've always been around water. You know, we lived in Niagara Falls in Canada and we had the big falls. And, um, you know, you'd, uh, we used to, we used to uh, water scan the top of the falls there. And didn't know, never knew how dangerous it was. <laughs> but my cousin liked to water ski, and uh, oh yeah, we used to do that a lot. So, um, yeah. I wasn't no good water skier, though. I really didn't do too much of it, but my, my parents did. My dad did with his cousin. Well, it's really his best friend, my mom's cousin. So, um... Yeah, we had lots of fun. So we've always been around some kind of water. So um, that would be the only way i get out of here is that. Because I'm really quite comfortable in this house. Even though there is two other extra people in it. His has gotten smaller <laughs> from the 
having two extra people, but I still like my home. I like my backyard and stuff like that. I like to buy a little bit of the property next door to me, but um, I'd have to talk to her. I think she said, she said to me I wouldn't have any trouble using that piece of land if I wanted to use it, you know, to get in the backyard or anything like that because really my line is very close to my house. So I really don't have a big property at all. Um, but with her woods, it kind of makes it look like I do. Um, and they keep it, they keep it pretty nice. They're getting older though. They're not cutting it as much as they were. But they still cut it here and there. I think they would be happy if I said, hey, we'll help you, we'll cut it. I think they would be happy if I did that. Because, um, you know, I think they're just getting older and feeling it. So, um, they're good neighbors. She brings me a pie sometimes. And she, she when I first met her, she... She came over and she brought me three plants. She's a plant lady. She loves her plants. And she brought me three plants. And she put them in the ground for me. Yeah. So. She could be a little bit uh, uh, aggressive. So. But. Um, I think she means well anyway. So I don't think she meant anything by it. She just was glad that somebody was moving in. I think. Just like I am about being you know, a cross the road no more problems it is so much nicer here you know so I'm gonna have to push these down some more and probably bring them out a little bit because you want your tray to be flat on here so I'm kind of gonna just put these down and um, yeah, just push them down a little bit so they're more on the side and not up, up. so then your tray can sit on there a little bit better see yeah, that's cute huh and uh, there yeah that'll work I think they'll be cute can't see if it's all um, covered on this side though I want to see here let me see here yeah, not bad um, I'm gonna put some more I'm just trying to get around the whole thing so I can see how much I'm really going to need all the way around. Yeah, it would be alright. So, I got one more flower here. I put a flower here. I put a flower here. I got one over here. So I'll put this one over here. That's what we'll do. But I'm going to cut it off of this. Off of here. We're just going to snap it off of here. So... And, uh, hmm. so far I've been able to get these off with the scissors, no trouble really. Just snip it and twist it. They're very thin, the wires on here, so, yeah. There, and just twist it and flip it. Oh, it's got a tag on here. And Dollar Tree and their tags. So yesterday I spent the whole day taking my mom to the eye doctor again because she was supposed to have her cataracts done but because she was in an emergency room and ended up in the hospital for her pacemaker, um, she wasn't able to have her eyes done. So we went have to start all over again, and which I was kind of mad about. Because they make you do all these tests, and every time, they only let you keep it for like 90 days. And then you have to um, redo, redo it. And they charge you $50. $50, that doesn't, your insurance won't cover it. So, um, I'm going to put some of this yellow over here, too. Um, so... So we had to do that, and I, so I had to spend $50 again, so this time she's going to have it done. If it kills me, you know, we're going. I told her not to end up back in the ER <laughs> until it's done. Get it done and be happy. So uh, she'll be going in October, um, and get we'll, we'll be able to get that done, so hopefully. And 
she'll be happier because she's really having a hard time seeing and uh, it's making it real hard. So she's having a real hard time. Male ladies here. We're supposed to get something today, which we'll probably show you. Um, yeah, so that's going to be exciting today, too. And, of course, the sun's going to come out now. After me wanting to do a yard sale today, and it was raining, so I was like, oh, I can't do it. So, anyways. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to break these off. Some more here. And this one wants to be stubborn on me. So. Nails here, so. I'll have to go out there and get it. Because we are expecting something today, so. And I'm sure Shea Bear will film it. As long as that doesn't rain, because we'll need it not to rain. Ugh, this thing don't want to cut. The other ones do with no problem. There we go. All right, guys. So I'm going to turn you off, and I'm going to finish this the sides there, and then I'll bring you back. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. You probably guys get the idea here. Um, you just kind of kind of got to make them out a little bit because um, you want your tray to sit on here. You know, you've seen how there. See, so you want your tray to sit on there. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes. Okay, guys. So there you go. I put. I still have a few more. Um, just a few, a couple more left if I want to put it in there. I'm going to maybe put it on the table after and i'll look at it and we'll we'll show you the aftermath okay so now i've got these lights here so i'm going to kind of just someone was detected at your front door somebody keeps walking by my house it's driving me crazy here so um yeah i'm going to use these fairy lights they're not orange, they're kind of a yellow, but they'll look pretty with the fall leaves, you know. And just kind of tuck it in. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to go around it. Um, you know, uh, with the leaves, you just want to make sure you're not really showing the green part. If you wanted to, you could paint those foam things. I think you can paint them and uh, make them orange or red or something like that that would make it more folly but if you're going to reuse them you might not want to so and i'm just going to tuck the the box underneath here and i'll just set it on the table and nobody will see it the leaves are in the way and i'll show you when i get done so now you have the lights let me turn off the light here a little bit so you can see the lights a little bit better there we go Hold on, I got this light over here on. So, um, it's not wanting to turn off either. There we go. So you can kind of see it. I think I'm a little crooked over here. Yeah, so there you go. That looks pretty, huh? And uh, I'll just put them on like this. And you can use them the way you want. Um, you know, just tuck them in and around the light the leaves a little bit so it looks kind of more natural yeah it's just pretty you could use this as your um centipede for your your table if you wanted to if you have a big table we have a small one and half the time i take everything off so we have plenty of room for all our food because for the three of us we we eat we 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 have a feast when it's Thanksgiving and Christmas. Shea Bear cooks for us and he does an excellent job. And we eat and we have fun. Enjoy it. So as much as we can. Because there's just the three of us. So I don't have really much family in Florida anymore. 
I have two kids, but they are busy all the time, so I don't see them much. Okay, so kind of like that. I will move it and I'll have to rearrange it. Then I bought these little, little tiny pumpkins. Let me turn the light back on so you can see them. I got these little pumpkins. I thought they were so cute um, for, uh, for this tray. And I got, I guess you can say this is like a light beige. And it's that, um, what would they call that, bar stuff or whatever it is. And then I got an orange one. And uh, I'm going to put them on my tray. And you can decorate it the way you want to do it. Um, so I need the scissors all the way over here. And, uh, you know, do, do it the way you want to do it. So you can put candy on here. You could, you could do whatever you want. Make it. Make it yours, you know. Oops, the lights are coming off. But I'll probably have to rearrange the lights again because as soon as I pick this up, it's gonna probably all move. <laughs> so, and then I found these cute, cute little little um, they're tea light candles, and they're so cute. And they are the maple leaf. So we are Canadian. And we love our maple leaf. So I got, and there's three in a pack for $1.25. $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? And um, I'm just going to put them in the middle. I don't think I'm going to use them. I'm just going to, you know, light them up. I don't think I'll do that because I have these pumpkins up here too. And, um, yeah, it's just for decoration. Um... You know, some people put the little um, battery tea light um, candles on their tray. I've, I've seen that. So, here's another one. Hopefully you guys can see it. And we're just going to put the three of them on here together. One's green, orange, and kind of a pale yellow. And there you go. So, I'm going to put it on my table, and then I will give you a view of it on the table. Okay guys, so there you go. It's on my table. And um, yeah, it's daylight outside. It's, it's just noon hour. So I wanted to get my video up. And it'll look really pretty once it's dark out. Um, yeah, really cute. Uh, and let me fix my candles here a little bit better. So you can see them a little bit better. They look really cute. I'll bring you up a little bit closer. Let me take you off the stand. And uh, here. So you can see it a little bit better. And that's cute. And it gives you a little decoration. And uh, yeah, there you go. I still have some flowers. I can add some more if I want to. I might add some in this corner over here a little bit more. But otherwise, I, I'm quite happy with it. And I can change it out. So for Christmas, I can buy me some, some uh, flowers for Christmas and put there and put some little cute little ornaments or something or fill it up with candy, you know, um, for Christmas or something. And at least decorates the, the coffee table a little bit. And as you know, I, I showed you these. I have these up here. And it kind of just gives a little bit of a decoration. Gives it more folly look. And I have over here. And these are orange lights. I did get those. Um, you know, I had the one pair and then I bought... These are new. I bought these new ones this year. So, um, yeah. So it just kind of gives a little, little, little touch. And then I have my little bow over there. And I bought that at... Uh, Walmart. I got that one at Walmart for the door. There. Uh, so that's cute. And um, and then I decorated the front window too a little bit. Um, let me see if I can turn the light on for you. Yeah. And we have the light on. So they have a little scenery outside. I didn't go real big. I don't want to go real big. Um, you know, just a little touch of something. Just to make it more folly. 
And in Florida, that's kind of hard. And then you can see my pillows over here. My mother moved my pillows. But, um, yeah, so I like my pillows. I'm really quite happy, and they came from Timu. So that's it, guys, for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and it's a very simple thing. Um, you didn't have to put a lot of money. Everything, everything you see there came from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if they still have those trays or not. You'd have to look in your Dollar Tree to see if they do or not. Um, I had have I have had that for a year. So um, they may have something else that you might be able to find that you can use. So um, yeah, guys. So I hope you liked the video. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have many more. And uh, I think we're gonna film something else today. I'm not gonna tell you. It's a surprise, but something that we're going to put on our car. So, <coughs> stay tuned for that. And y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Monkey says she's out. I can't talk today. I don't know what the heck the problem is. Monkey says she's out. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.